Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets OBS tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to multi-stream with OBS for free using Restream. So Restream is a very popular live streaming website that allows you to live stream to multiple platforms at the same time. So as you can see, you can live stream to Twitch, Facebook, Periscope, YouTube, all at the same time, just using OBS. Now they do have paid versions, but the free version allows you to live stream to multiple platforms in OBS for free. There's just a little watermark that says Restream up in the top right. Now, if you decide to use one of the paid versions, use my link in the description because you'll get $10 off. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with how to multi-stream in OBS using Restream. So the first thing you need to do is simply go to Restream.io and check the description. I'll have my link down there as well. Once you get to Restream.io, go ahead and select Get Started and then create your account. Once you've created your Restream account, you'll be brought here where it shows destinations and ready to go live. The first thing we need to do is add destinations to our Restream account. And these are gonna be the different platforms we wanna live stream to at the same time. So Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, all of those. To do that, we need to go up into the top left and select Add Channel. And as you can see, these are all the different options that you can live stream to. Now, all of these up here will be free, including Twitch and Facebook, Periscope, LinkedIn, all of these right here. They have tons of different services. But if you want to live stream to a Facebook page or Instagram, something like that, you'll have to use the professional paid version. So just as a quick example, I'm going to show you how to add Twitch, but the process will be very similar for any of the other platforms that you want to connect to Restream and Multistream to. So all you need to do is select that platform, then just select the connection button right here. So connect Twitch. This will open up Twitch where we need to log into our account and then you have to give access to Restream to your Twitch account or whichever other platform that you're choosing. So as you can see, this is quite a bit of access, but they do need that because they're creating content on that actual platform. So read through this, make sure you're okay with it and then select authorize at the bottom. Once you've done that, you'll be brought back to your destinations page within Restream and you can now see the new destination was added and it's been turned on. So as you add platforms here, you can turn them on and off. And when you turn them on, those will be included in the platforms that you'll be multi-streaming to. So right now I'll be multi-streaming to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. I will not be multi-streaming to Periscope because I have that turned off. Once you've added all your destinations here and before you actually start multi-streaming, what I recommend doing is going to update titles. And this will allow you to update the title of your live stream across all the different platforms you're live streaming to. So all you need to do is fill in a title and a description and then select update all. And then as you can see, that'll update that across all the different multi-streaming platforms you have configured in Restream. Now that we have our Restream account set up and connected to the different live streaming platforms, what we need to do is set up OBS. And to do that, all we need to do is go to the right and select RTMP settings right next to streaming software. So select that. Now in here, all we need to do is find the stream key and go ahead and select the copy button right here. And that'll copy it to your clipboard on your computer. Now that we've copied our stream key for Restream, go ahead and open up OBS. And in OBS, select file in the top menu, then go to settings. And then in the settings, in the left sidebar, select stream. Once stream opens up, Select the drop down for service, and what you want to select is restream.io RTMP. Now, once we've selected restream RTMP, go ahead and select use stream key, and then just paste your stream key right there, and then you're done. You can go down to the bottom and select OK and close out of the settings. So now we're basically set up, we're ready to multi stream in OBS. Now, just make sure you have all of your different overlays, webcam, everything working in OBS. And if you have any questions about that, check the description. I have tons of tutorials on that. And when you're ready to start your multi-stream, just go down to the bottom right and select Start Streaming. And if you go back to Restream, you'll see a little example here. You can see it live as it's going on. So as you can see now, I'm on the Gaging Gadgets test account on Twitch, and we are currently live streaming. When I go to the Facebook Gaging Gadgets page, you could see that I'm live streaming there as well. So we are now multi-streaming from OBS and I am even live streaming on YouTube. Now, one cool thing about Restream is if you wanna monitor the chat for all the different live streaming platforms that you are streaming to, you can do that in Restream as well. Just go back to Restream and then the menu in the left side, select the three horizontal dots and then go to chat app. Now they do have an app you can download to your computer that works great. 
but I'm just going to open it up in the browser right now so that we can see it real quick. And if I go to YouTube and I say something, as you can see, it shows up here and it shows me which platform they're using. I can type back and it will show up in the chat on YouTube as well. So as other people chat from the different platforms, Twitch or YouTube, it'll show up here and I can monitor it and respond from this page as well. Once you're done streaming and you need to end your stream, just go into the bottom right of OBS and select stop streaming and it'll stop it there. And when we go back to restream, you'll see that it, you are no longer online and all of your platforms here show offline as well. So you're done. All right, so that's how you stream to multiple platforms at the same time in OBS using Restream. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more OBS tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.